my friends or should I say good day sport because today is the day my friends we've all been waiting for it I've been waiting for it uh, it's going to be a long one as well because it is going to be a I guess I think it's 9,000 mile 17 hour non-stop journey on Qantas Airlines uh, in economy all the way from London Heathrow to Perth now we've been waiting for this, we're going to be doing videos while I'm there, but I'm going to be getting the whole journey and filming the whole journey along the way, my friends. I'm going to be filming everything uh, from a journey right here over to the airport, and then when I get to the airport, we're going to get planes taking off and landing, etc. We're going to get inside the terminal, we're going to get some food, then we're going to get on the plane and I'm going to film the entire 17 hour flight. The great thing for you is you can get to watch it uh, from your armchair or your uh, your work chair if you're at work, which is great, isn't it? Because you're getting paid to watch me. Uh, or if you're on the toilet, some people are on the toilet watching it on the toilet. Lots of people take the phone on the toilet, don't they? Anyway, enough of that. So we're going to head there now. It's 11.50 when we fly. I think, what time is it now? It's... Uh, at seven uh, twenty to eight. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get up, do my hair. Although it looks like it's already been done, doesn't it? Uh, brush my teeth, get a shower, uh, and do the ablutions. Is it? And then we're gonna head over to Heathrow uh, in an Uber. So if you're new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, I think I might just have a quick snooze. Let's go. Now then, lots of people asking me whether I'm going to take a larger suitcase with me. No, I'm not. I always carry my small suitcase. I've got everything in here all organised. I've got about 14 shirts. I roll them all up strategically, so everything's literally rolled up, including shorts, etc. I've bought new shorts. I've bought new shirts. I've got everything here. I've even got a little backpack as well to put all my computer stuff in. When I want to go out without taking my larger backpack, I've got an extension plug in there, different sort of like adapter plug. I've got a big extension lead in there. I've got all my toiletries. I am going to check it in, but I fit everything in here. And there's washing machines wherever you go. So always travel light because I'm going to ask you this question. If you go on holiday and you take a large suitcase, how much do you bring back that you don't wear? There we go. Anyway, come on. I've got to get to the airport. So I stopped at the Premier Inn last night, 55 quid, that's all it was, uh, at Heathrow on Bath Road. Now I want to get an Uber, we're going to get to the airport, then we're going to get checked in, so come on. Right, so let's find our Uber and let's get to the airport. This is going to be a long journey. Wow, 17 hours in economy, gruelling 17 hours. That's a long time. I think that's the longest flight 
I've ever taken. The last longest one was to Kuala Lumpur, I think. Um, what was my Uber? Can't think what to, I need to find his reg plate. Hang on a minute. Uh, it is a, in a Mercedes Benz Vito. I think this is it, OCA. That's me, I'm in a van. Hey, starting off well, isn't it? Come on. Grief. Oh, is that heavy? Yeah, it's all right, it's fine. Right, so we're in the Uber. Off to Terminal 3, Qantas Flight QF10. I can't believe how many hours. It's, that's 17 hours? 17 hours, that's a long flight. I tell you what, is it any quicker at the front of the plane? In business, probably, probably feel like it. Anyway, come on, onwards. Right, here we are, Terminal 3. I've got that vibe, I'm feeling good. It's cold, but I'm not moaning because it's gonna be absolutely baking when we get to Australia. So, and I'll be going, oh, it's too hot, it's too hot. And I'll be, here's a question for you. Do you put your shorts on now, ready for the hot weather, or do you just change in the airport, or do you just go in your jeans and then you like sweat when you get there? What do you do? I never know, I'm, I'm always confused. I'm always at sixes and sevens with that one, come on. £5 terminal drop-off charge, so they get charged £5 to drop you off. That's absolutely outrageous, isn't it? Do you not think these airports... I'm, I'm moaning already, aren't I? I'm not moaning. Charge them five quid, do whatever you want. Let's get on this plane, come on. Right, so we're looking for C, entrance C, for Qantas. I haven't had a coffee yet this morning either, so I need kick-starting with a coffee. Somebody said, oh, you're addicted to coffee when I said that last time, but I just like coffee. I like tea as well, uh, but coffee in the morning. Got to be coffee first thing. Anyway, let's get in there. Here we go, C. Right, now I did check in online, but it wouldn't let me print a boarding pass. Uh, it said that I need to go uh, to the check-in counter, so I've got to drop my bag off anyway, uh, and I'll get a paper ticket, which is always a lot easier, isn't it, than messing around with your phone. Just show me a paper ticket with a new passport. Come on. Right, so I've got to use the machine here, apparently, to uh, get the bag tags, etc., and put all the bag tags on myself, and then go over to the counter over there and drop my bag off, so uh, I've got to do it all on a machine. So it's going these days, isn't it? Come on. All right, scan my boarding pass. Okay, got to scan that there. What happened to people? It was always nice to have people at the back of the counter, wasn't it? Continue. Please scan your bag tag using the hand scanner. Hang on then, I've got to find my bag tag now. I think I've got that in there. There we go, scan that. That's actually getting you to do their job for them, aren't they? Yeah, that's right. Press tick to send the bag. Here we go.
Right, let's get through to departures and security. I miss the old times, don't you, where you'd actually got somebody greeting you, have a nice flight, etc., and they put the bag and they put the bag tag on for you. And it seems to be that at the moment, and I'm not having a moan, I'm just pointing it out, that everything is going automated and these companies get you to do it and then there's no staff. Soon it'll be all automated, AI automated, won't need any humans, will you? Anyway, departures, security, coffee, watch the planes, come on. As I always say, keep moving, keep moving onwards. Right, well, I'm gonna go through security. I've got my passport. I'm not filming going through security. And I've said it a million times because they have rubber gloves and a truncheon. And uh, I don't want any of that. We don't want any action. So I'll see you guys at the other side. We'll um, go and have a look through duty free because they always put you through that, don't they? They strategically place it so that you've got to walk through it. And we always know it's expensive. Um, I won't be buying anything, but I'll be intrigued to see the prices again and see whether they've uh, got any cheaper, got any deals on etc. Then we'll get something to eat, have a coffee, like I say, kickstart myself. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Right through security, that took about 10 minutes. Not quite as quick uh, as Manchester, where you didn't have to take your laptops out, etc., and your iPads. You have to do that here. Obviously, the system uh, is a little bit more advanced up north. Who'd have thought that? Let's have a look through duty free and see what offers they've got on or not. £41,763 for that Bowmore, right? But £1969. Now I'm saying that's worth it because everything that was originated from 1969, 1969 is priceless. You can't put a price tag on it. <laughs> Come on. Right, well, I was asked to stop filming in um, Duty Free, and I said, okay, no problem. I says, however, I was going to purchase that uh, Bowmore whiskey at £41,000, but you've just lost yourself a sale. <laughs> As if I was, come on. Now, as much as I like full English breakfast, I don't think I could manage a full fry up before getting on board a plane. Not good, especially with eggs as well. Oh dear. Pity the person who sits next to me after that. Well, that's weird, that is, isn't it? That's just odd. It's like a Dalek going around. Could be a bit scared for some people, couldn't it? I mean, the crazy thing is, though, we've got rid of the cleaners now, we've got rid of the people on the check-in counters, we've got rid of the people on the baggage claim, uh, we've got rid of the people at the supermarkets who check your food through. Um, so basically, humans not needed. Just put AI and robots, and that's it. It's on its way back. That's odd, that is. It's 
excuse me, do you know which way gate C is, please? Do you know gate C? Which way? Any idea? I don't think I can do Cafe Nero, you know. It's not my favorite coffee. I'm gonna to go to a pretentious a manger. Come on. Right, so I got a uh, flat white eventually, after I asked him about six times. Um, Pasta donata and a sparkling mineral water. I like to add a little bit, of, a little few bubbles to my water. That's a bit of excitement, doesn't it? Oh yeah, got a new cap as well. Ordered it online, proper New York Yankees one. 25 sheets. Anyway, I'll eat this and I'll uh, see you guys outside. Mm. Right, that feels better. Nice sparkling water, flat white, and a uh, pasta donata, Rodney. Uh, let's have a wander around, see what the gate, time the gate's opening. I think it's announced in about 10 minutes. So uh, let's take a look at one of the screens, then we can head over. It's a little bit claustrophobic in here, I think, because there's no windows. I had to walk down there earlier on, uh, where we saw the American Airlines plane. Uh, just to see outside. I like to be able to see outside, that's the thing. There was talks originally of having aeroplanes with digital windows where it just projects the outside on a screen. I don't want that, I want to see the actual outside. Come on. Right, so gate number one on our way there now. By the way, I was just looking at a DJI Osmo Adventure 4 to replace my GoPro in the iMation place, right? 90 pounds more to buy it from the airport than it is online. And that's supposed to be like cheaper there, apparently. It's not. Better off just buying it online. I thought, well, I'm not carrying it with me. I'll get it when I get back. Anyway, gate number one, come on. I've got to say, 17 hours, this is gonna hurt. I mean, when I go to the States, that's like eight hours, and you're itching to get off. 17 hours, a grueling 17 hours. Hi there. Uh, there's my passport, thank you. Uh, I think the boarding passes. That one isn't there, I just need that baggage thing there. That's great, thank you. And there's a the boarding pass, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right, through. We've now got an hour just to chill out a little bit, actually. Is there a machine in here? I'm a bit thirsty. Ah, oh, there is, yeah. Just get myself a water or something. Uh, and then uh, 
get on board. 17 hours, 17 hours. That's mental, isn't it? I just thought to myself though, because there was a connecting one. There was a flight where you could connect in, uh, I don't know, was it Dower or something I think it was? And I thought to myself, I'd rather just do the 17 hours and just get it out of the way, rather than get another flight, run for your next one, make sure you've got the right gate, you've got two hours in another airport. So just, just look, go the hard slog, get on the plane, nap a little bit, have some food, watch some TV, do a bit of filming, and, um, and then it'll pass before you know it. Keep saying that to myself. Says gourmet this on the is side a of morning announcement for Qantas flight QF10 to Phuket and Nauru. If you're traveling with young children under the age of five or need extra time to board, you are invited to board. Please have your body card ready for the gate staff and again for the cabin crew as you board the aircraft. I like how it says gourmet on the side of the uh, lorries there on the trucks. There's nothing gourmet about it, is there? to board here we go 17 hours non-stop direct to Perth from London Heathrow come on Right, so, on board. Um, leg room's not bad, to be fair. I'll put a microphone and the camera in a little bit and do this video a little bit different rather than just pulling faces. I'll let you know what the food's like along the way. Um, it's quite comfortable, I, I'll say. Um, it is a while since I've traveled on the uh, A380. This is the Dreamliner and um, I don't know, I can't remember what the A380 was like. Lots of people saying the A380 is more spacious, but the leg rooms fit pretty good to be fair. Take my shoes off and relax in a little bit. But uh, 17 hours. Might have to have a glass of wine and knock myself out.
Right, stopwatch is set. Doors are closed. 17 hours. I must be out of my tiny mind. <laughs> oh dear. Onwards, I think. So I'm hoping you can hear me. Got a little bit of a microphone on here, rather than pulling daft faces like I do in my other videos. Uh, Going to do a proper in-flight review of this. So this is the Dreamliner. Uh, we've got 15 hours and 36 minutes, so not quite 17 hours, although that's what they stated. But we shall see. It says 15 hours 36 on the screen at the moment. Um, we've now taken off. There are no window blinds on this plane. You've actually got a um, a button down there and it darkens or lightens the window um, which is quite nice I guess it's a futuristic thing but it's another thing that could break I guess just give me a window blind um, so far I, from what for memory I'm pretty sure the A380 was more impressive but maybe just because it was new back then gonna get the first meal review that one as well so um, stick with me throughout the flight and um, we'll review the entire journey there legroom is pretty good I have to say Right, so we have a little amenity kit here with a, um, some ear protectors there, uh, toothbrush and some toothpaste, and then also a little um, eye mask in here as well, so I can have a little nap after I've had a cheeky glass of wine. Uh, and that is it, but nice little touch. Oh, and also they brought us a, a bottle of uh, Harrogate spring, spring water. Um, and I'm saying that's great because Harrogate, Yorkshire, there we go, I probably haven't got Yorkshire tea on board though have they, but can't ask for everything can we, right, there we go, might have to choose a film now, I'm thinking Oppenheimer. Because you 
We have a Captain Mark Lane. Join us on the flight deck today is Nathan Doherty and Dave Blackman. We'd like to add our welcome aboard this Qantas 10 service to Perth. Public day for flying, expecting generally smooth conditions uh, right through to Perth. Quite a fast flight time today of 15 hours and 55 minutes. Current indications uh, have you disembarking in Perth about 25 minutes ahead of schedule there at midday. It has been a very warm day in uh, Perth, but uh, cooler change affecting southern Western Australia tonight. So we are expecting around 25 degrees for our arrival uh, tomorrow and uh, fine conditions. I'll update those details uh, later in the flight. Till then, enjoy the corner service and entertainment. Right, okay, so we have uh, a red wine that just stopped us for drinks now. I've uh, got a little um, packet of um, pretzels and stuff there, which is chilli and lime, soy crisps, baked pretzels and salted nuts. Um, Aussie owned donates to charity, uh, so they're good. Also got myself a Coke Zero here as well. Uh, it's a full bar that they've got on. Uh, I asked for a red wine as well, uh, and they gave me a choice of red wine. I took the uh, Shiraz there. Um, plastic bottle, but um, giving you a choice of red wine as well, so that's pretty good, uh, especially for uh, economy as well. Anyway, so um, we'll try out the red wine and see what it's like, shall we? Right, okay, so let's try some of these uh, pretzels and Snacks with impact. Actually, they taste really nice. Oh, they are good. Right. Red wine. Doing this as if I'm a wine connoisseur. I just bolt it back down in Mansfield. That's, um, yeah, that comes from a, a good Bordeaux, a good grape. I don't know what I'm talking about. Tastes nice. Tastes very good, not too bitter. Right, I should drink this, eat those, and uh, I'll see you in uh, in a little bit. Gonna carry on watching Oppenheimer now. It's a bit deep for me, this, but I'll give it a go. Right, okay, so it is lunchtime now. I didn't go for a Jameson in the end because I thought I'd have one of them a little bit later on. I went for another red wine, which you saw earlier on there, uh, which was the Shiraz. Gave me a choice and uh, said I can have a Jameson later. You can just call them and uh, it's an open bar there. Oops, that's falling over. Not much space. Um, and then we've got um, salad of grilled chicken with couscous. Just have a, have a look at this. Looks very nice, actually.
There you go. So we've got uh, nice chunks of chicken in there. Got the couscous, some fresh salad. Um, also some sauce there as well. Looks very nice. Going to try it out now. Also got a nice uh, little uh, piece of bread there, which is not rock solid. Slightly warm as well. Let me undo my cutlery. Difficult to try and uh, do this one-handed, so one second. It's better than pulling faces, though, like I do in my other videos. Okay, so we have a wooden cutlery in here. I don't like wooden cutlery, I have to say. It feels funny on your lips. Got salt and pepper in there as well. Um, I'll put some pepper on in a moment. I won't mess around with that now while I'm on the uh, camera to you. So, let's go in for this. Got couscous in there. I wonder what sauce this is. Let's have a look. There you go. It's like a balsamic vinegar or something, doesn't it? Um, okay, let's get into this chicken. Here we are. Wow, that actually looks really nice for it for airline food in uh, in economy I have to say just look at that okay wow that does look nice there we go oh that wooden fork though on my lips goes through me that wow that's very nice we've got the couscous as well there you go. Look at that. Whoops. Dropping it all over the camera. I have to say, that tastes very nice. Let's see what the bread's like. Just smelling it. It's like it's got garlic in it. Very fresh, nice, not too hard. It has got some kind of garlic in that. But that is spot on. Right, I'll eat this and then we'll see if there's any dessert or anything. Have we got dessert? How many more hours have we got yet? Oh, only another 13 hours and 59 minutes. Right, okay, so it is wine time now. We've got the Shiraz again, 2020. Um, marks out of 10 for the couscous, the chicken with couscous. Well, do you know what? For airline food, I think that, especially in economy anyway, um, I think that was spot on, actually. What am I going to give it, though? Marks out of 10. Probably I'd go for a, an 8, an 8.2, actually. Uh, and the wine, well, that's great. I mean, I'm going to give that a 10. It's wine. And also, I can have a Jameson in a little bit as well on ice. Uh, I'll keep you updated on the flight as well. At the moment, we've got 13 hours and 43 minutes. Oh, wow, uh, to go yet. And we're doing uh, 555 miles an hour at uh, 30... 4,000 feet was it? 34,000 feet? Let's have a look at that. 34,992 feet and it's minus 57 degrees centigrade, minus 69 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Bit chilly but it won't be when we land. Right, I'm gonna crack on and have my wine now. Right, okay, so we've got now Jude's ice cream, uh, which is here, salted caramel. Apparently, it's vegetarian, I heard. But I can't, I don't know, let's have a look. Does it say vegetarian? Uh, 
can't see that it says vegetarian. But anyway, let's try it out. One second. Here we go. Let's give it a try without trying to get chocolate all over me. pretty nice that's good still haven't drank my wine yet so I'm gonna drink that in a minute 13 and a half hours to go I need to stop looking at that screen I'll see you in a minute right okay so the ice cream was really nice um, thoroughly enjoyed that all in all great meal I have to say gonna drink my wine now watch the rest of Oppenheimer uh, we're just south of Bucharest at the moment and uh, I'm going to watch the rest of Oppenheimer. It'll stay with me because there's another 13 hours, 23 minutes. I tell you, you're lucky. You're watching it in some place comfortable, either in your living room. Tell me where you are. You are watching it. Are you in the living room? Are you on the toilet? Are you in the kitchen? Are you at work? Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Right, okay, quick update. Blimey, that light's bright. Um, so, uh, I've watched Oppenheimer, uh, which was a good movie. It was a bit deep, I have to say, for me. Um, and I thought, oh, I bet that's passed some time. Um, they've come around with some water, not any other drinks. Um, and we've still got 10 hours uh, and 41 minutes to go. Uh, back in the UK, it is uh, 11 minutes past five in the afternoon. Uh, we've been going about five hours, 30 now since I set my stopwatch on my um, on my watch. So, a long way to go yet. Anyway, we're getting there. Might have a little nap and um, drink a water and then uh, just see whether I can pass a bit more time. It is a long stretch. Anyway, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Right, so a bit of a flight update for you. I've had a bit of a sleep. Um, well, 40 winks. Um, got seven hours and 31 minutes to the destination. Um, still not had anything else to eat since the chicken and couscous. Uh, we've been now traveling uh, eight hours and 39 minutes, roughly, since I started my stopwatch. Um, Getting a bit peckish to be honest. Might have to uh, nip to the back of the plane see if they've got any snacks. I would have thought they'd have brought more food out than this, but um, they haven't. So I don't know whether it's something to do with time zones. Back in the UK, it's 20 past eight. It's getting tiring now. And, uh, seven hours, 30 minutes, I'm thinking, wow, that's like a flight from London to New York. So. Um, and that seems a long time. I'm getting tired now, but I'm getting more peckish. And I can't sleep now. I feel wide awake, Timmy Mallet. I think I might just have to um, watch something else on TV and have a snack and see whether what's going to happen is I'm going to get tired 
towards the last three hours and then we're going to end up landing. Anyway, little flight update for you. I'll see you in a little while. Right, a bit of a bathroom break, so we're uh, quite a spacious bathroom. There are some snacks at the back of the plane, so I'm going to go and get some snacks uh, and a drink. Um, it's not a small toilet, so um, so far the plane, quite like the plane. I just might have to go on an A380 to go again though and check that. The only thing is though, I would have thought they would have brought more food out, but I'm going to go and check out the snacks. About there's crackers and some biscuits and crisps, etc., uh, and some drinks. So I'm going to head down there see what they've got and then I might watch the Equalizer 3 which I watched the other week but I was working at the same time so I might have a bit more concentration on it now because there's no Wi-Fi on board that's the only thing no Wi-Fi that's the painful part anyway snack time Right, so there was a selection of snacks back there. I got some uh, of that good mix again. Uh, a Monty's Bakehouse, which they brought round, uh, and I managed to catch the um, lady and she gave me one of those. Tim Tam, which is like a penguin, I'm told. It's the Australian version of a penguin, and a dairy milk. And I'll just uh, wait for them to come around. I've got some water there. Uh, and wait for them to come down with it around with a drinks trolley and maybe have a little drink as well so we're gonna find out what this bake house is like first because that is hot right here goes like a little lattice pie but a little bit like a hot pocket that you get in the states any americans watching Kind of a strange taste to it. Quite nice though. It'll fill the spot, fill a hole. Just need a just need a red wine now. Anyway, I'll eat this and then we'll try that. I think we'll try that Tim Tam next, which is what uh, my mate Dave JB keeps telling me about. Anyway, see you in a minute. How long have we got now? Seven hours and eight minutes. <sighs> Right, that wasn't too bad actually. Chicken and uh, aromatic chicken and black pepper. Quite nice, quite tasty. Right, let's go in for this uh, Tim Tam now. Australian penguin. Ah, let's have a go. Smaller than a penguin. Uh, I bet there was bigger in the day though. Not bad, but I'm going to be brutally honest here. I've got to say, I think a penguin's better. It seems a bit more, a bit more wafery than biscuity. But I'll eat the other half. Right, a little update for you. Now, it looks like it's dark outside, but it isn't. Uh, the windows have been made dark and you can't lighten them up. They're now controlled by the cockpit uh, or by the uh, crew anyway. Which has gone to the back of the plane and it's actually bright sunshine outside. We've now got two hours and 23 minutes to our destination. Uh, at Perth it's nine, 
31am and 1.31am in London. I'm trying to make the windows lighter because I'm wide awake now. I've had a little nap. Watched the movie, had a little nap, had another Coke and a bar of chocolate. But um, I find it quite annoying that you cannot sort of like lighten the windows up yourself. I want to be able to see outside, but you can't. Now, is that a good thing, do you think, or a bad thing? Because uh, if I did that, that might disturb other people that are actually trying to have a sleep. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Would you rather have... Well, would that be... It just makes me feel a little bit claustrophobic. I don't know what you think. Let, let me know what you think in the comment section. Right, I'm going to try and have another nap. Two hours and 22 minutes. So I'll see you guys later on. Right, so breakfast time. Now then, I have gone for the uh, the hot breakfast, where you've got a yogurt as well, got Cumberland sausage in here, hash brown, bacon, uh, scrambled egg, tomato. Uh, I've had a coffee as well. Um, they also offer a fruit salad, which looks very nice. Uh, the lady next to me had a fruit salad. Here's a picture of it now. Uh, she very kindly let me take a photograph of that. So there's the fruit salad. Might have to have that on the way back. Looks. Um, very appetising actually. Cumberland sausage though. There we go, the Lake District making its mark. Cumbria. Let's uh, taste this and see what it's like. Doesn't look too bad actually. Right, here we go. Bacon looks alright. Very difficult to eat it one-handed, but we'll give it a go. There's the bacon. Um, let's take a bite of this bacon here. Okay, that tastes pretty good actually. Quite salty there. Got the uh, Cumberland sausage there. Let's have a go at this. It's quite nice, could do with some brown sauce. Um, got salt and pepper in there as well. Then we've got the yoghurt, which I'll probably go for in a minute. Got the tomato, hash brown. All looks uh, fairly good. So I'll eat this, come back to you and then uh, let you know um, what I think of it. I think we'll mark it out of 10. We'll do a marks out of 10, shall we? Feeling a bit tired now, actually. One hour and 41 minutes left to go at 953 miles. Gonna drink my coffee, eat my breakfast, and I'll see you in a minute. It's not the best angle to be filming, eating and shoving food in my mouth. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, okay, so breakfast uh, done with. Coffee was okay. Uh, it wasn't a latte, obviously. It was, I'm going to get a latte on board a plane here, or a, maybe in first class. Um, but it <laughs> hit the spot, woke me up, kind of. Um, sausages were nice. Um, scrambled egg. Didn't eat all my scrambled egg, I have to say. Uh, I ate the yoghurt, which was really nice, and I left the bun because I took a little bite of that and I wasn't overly impressed with that. I think in hindsight, I think on the way back, I might go for the fruit salad. Um, but all in all, uh, really good. You've got the snacks at the back of the plane like you saw earlier on. I uh, had a couple of bars of uh, Cadbury's chocolate. Not keen on them Tim Tams or whatever they are. Um, I do prefer a penguin, I have to say. If you're Australian or you're an expat uh, from the UK and you've been living over in Australia, Tim Tams or penguins? There we go. Let me know in that comment section down below. Right, got another hour and 27 minutes left. So we're uh, just going to relax for a bit and then uh, we'll capture the uh, landing uh, at Perth um, Airport. So um, it's been a long flight. I might need a nap when I get to my hotel, but don't go anywhere because I'm going to take you all the way to end the journey to the hotel. So stay with me.
Right, okay, my friends. So we have 29 minutes left to our destination. 194 miles, almost made it. Um, it's been a great flight, really. Uh, I have to say, Qantas are fantastic. The cabin crew as well found a bit odd because, uh, not odd, odd in a good way, if you're watching, by the way, uh, because they came up and they call you by your uh, name, ah, Mr. Davy, or I'm thinking, that's strange. And everybody by the first name, uh, by the names, which is odd, because normally they can have they memorized all the names. Um, but there we go. Anyway, so the cabin crew was fantastic. Some of the best cabin crew uh, on the uh, on an air, on any airline that I've flown. So uh, thumb, two thumbs up for Qantas cabin crew there. Uh, the flight itself, no turbulence. It was very very smooth. The only thing I'm not sure about are these windows. I like to, Britain, and I'm, I am a bit of a techno guy, and I like all this stuff. But I like to control my own window because it was light outside. You may think different because you get people opening the blinds and disturbing people who are asleep. But if you've got a blindfold on, it shouldn't be a problem. I like, I've just felt a bit claustrophobic with that. Other than that, the plane itself, the Dreamliner, fantastic plane, really smooth, and uh, no no complaints, really. So um, I shall see you guys uh, when we land. I'm going to let you uh, watch the landing and see what we can see as we land into Perth. So there we go. I'll catch you when we land. Acknowledge the traditional custodians of the airport's lands, the Wajaka people. We would also like to pay our respects to elders past, present, and emerging. The local time is midday on Saturday, the 3rd of February. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign is off. As always, smoking, baking, and use of e cigarettes is not permitted while disembarking or throughout the terminal. Do take care when opening the overhead lockers, as baggage may have moved and could fall out. Before leaving, ensure you check your seats and seat pocket for any personal items. If you can reach your phone, you can now turn off flight mode. On behalf of all of us here at Qantas, thank you for choosing to fly with us. We wish you a pleasant public flight. If you're good to take care, we hope you enjoy your stay. 
and of course if you're returning, welcome home. Thank you and good afternoon. Right, well, let's get through immigration. 16 and a half hours, so virtually 17 hours. Wasn't quite as quick as they said. Got to fill in this immigration card. You'd think they'd do it online, wouldn't you? Anyway, oh, duty free. Right, so I've filled my form in. Going through um, passport control now, so I'll see you on the other side. Right, through um, passport control, immigration. They were very nice. Extremely nice. She said, have you ever been to Australia before? I said, no, 51 and it's my first time. She says, well, it's very hot home. You've got your shorts with you. Um, that was a nice warm welcome. Didn't take that long to get through, about 20 minutes, which is 15, 20 minutes. Anyway, let's find my suitcase, then we'll get out of here and then get to the hotel and see what the heat is like outside. I'm quite, I'm, well, I'm really excited. I've never been to Australia before and I'm really looking forward to it. Right, oh, it's too hot, it's too hot. Oh, now I ain't got my microphone on, so if it's a bit windy, I do apologize. It is a bit windy, actually. Right, Uber, let's get the Uber and let's get to the hotel. Come on, onwards. It's hot. Right, hope he's got the air conditioning on.
Here we are, right, okay. Let me just get my suitcase and I'll be back with you. Oh, right, let's get to the hotel room, see what that's like. I'm hoping it's all right. Um, and then I might have a shower, have a little nap. Oh, there's a burger place next door. Ooh. Mm. Do I have a nap or do I have a burger? I don't know. Let's see how I feel. By the way, I saw a fish and chips place on the way here. <laughs> I'm guessing that you do a lot of fish and chips in uh, Australia. Anyway, enough babbling. Let's get to the... I'm tired. Let's get to the room. Oh, right. Got there in the end. Ended up charging me. Surcharge views on my card and took £200 off me. That they'll give me back at the end, apparently. But my bank might take a week. Let's go and see the room. Oh, good grief, it's tiny in here. <laughs> well, at least I've got a desk uh, with a stool. That's not going to be very comfortable for lots of editing, is it? Right, okay, let's finish this video off. By the way, 200 quid they charge me. 200 quid, 200 dollars, 200 Australian dollars that they'll give me back at the end as a holding deposit. It does my head in that. Um, and also a, a percentage for using your credit card. So what do you want me to do? Pay you in cash? Anyway, have a quick look around. Small, but bijou. Compact, but bijou. We need this AC on. It's absolutely roasting in here. Let me get the SAC on. Hang on a second. It's absolutely roasting in here. How do you get this down? Whew. There you go. Compact, but bijou. Got a TV there. What kind of view have we got out here? Let's have a look. Let's open this up. Salvation Army there. <laughs> right, well, there we go. We've got some teas on here as well. Let's have a look. What teas have we got? Where's the Yorkshire tea? What's going on here? Well, grey, we don't want none of that. Good grief. Oh. Right, now we've got a kettle, need a, need a plug, plugs are there. Okay, let's have a look at the bathroom. This is a very tiny hotel room, this is. Here we go. Oh, tripping up, there's a step. Um, let me switch the light on in here. Where's the light? There we go. Hmm. Shampoos, shower, toilet, does the job, doesn't it? And a little sweet. Right, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video of me travelling all the way from London's Heathrow to right over here in Perth, Australia. Got lots coming your way. We're going to have a wander around Perth itself. I can see the city there and actually uh, the water as well. And we're going to be having a little mooch around. I'm going to be bringing you lots and lots of videos. If you did like this video, do me a favour. Do hit the thumbs up, share it on social media and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already. Because as I say, I'm going to be bringing you lots more content from right here in Australia. This is a very small hotel room for 2,500 Australian dollars for just th about three weeks. Is that what's that work out in Great British Pounds? Pop it in the comment section down below. Don't forget, give it a thumbs up, hit the th do all the stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.